So what the launcher skin allows me to do is lock down my OPS PC, giving me required application and giving me that one click to launch feature as well. And the nice thing about this launcher skin is I can host multiple applications and they don't have to be specific make. So I can have anything that runs on a PC launched on my skin. And at this point, we see I've got Stage, which is a unified comms applications, running next to Microsoft Teams, which is another VCUC application, and that alongside Zoom. And we found, based on statistics, that most businesses, though they have one main UC or VC platform that, that they use, in many instances, they use another, even if it's every now and again. This allows you host as many as you need, as well as any other applications that you use that's BC based. It gives you one touch launch, but it also gives you that collaborative experience that the Clever Touch screen offers. To the right of my launcher skin, I have a room calendar assigned, meaning I could very simply invite the room to my meeting and that would very effectively and simply populate my room calendar with all of my pending meetings. And at this point, you see my meetings are distinguished by the relevant icon. So I've got a Zoom meeting, followed by a Teams meeting, and then another Zoom meeting. And I could very simply launch those calls of those meetings by very simply clicking on the relevant icon. And that gives me that one touch launch meeting experience. In a case where you've forgotten to add the room calendar to your meeting invite, and you've walked into a meeting space, you've got very little time to start your meeting, what do you do? Well, this skin allows you log into your personal calendar. You simply just click into login and follow the prompts and very simply you have your personal calendar available. And at this point, you could easily launch calls from your personal calendar. Again, the calls are distinguished, showing the relevant icon. You see that was a Teams, uh, that was a Zoom, this is a Teams and I can very simply launch my calls clicking one button. But I also have access to my OneDrive account because the skin integrates with your cloud driver accounts, Dropbox, OneDrive, uh, Google Drive, and you easily can have the content on your cloud drives available in a lockdown environment whilst you're video calling. That way you could open that content, you can populate it from home or populate it remotely, simply just open up the content and make it available on your video conference call. From a settings standpoint, this skin is password protected because it's a lockdown kiosk skin. But the menu on the settings look very easy on the eye. You can very simply rename your room very easily without having to rewrite any codes. But you could also very simply uh, reassign uh, or add new room calendars. You could you've got the option of adding Google calendars as opposed to exchange calendars if you wanted to. Populating your shortcuts have never been easier. All you're simply doing is installing the applications on the actual PC, going into your shortcuts section and you simply just scroll down, it shows you everything you have installed on the PC or you can browse as an option the PC that takes you straight onto your computer find the application, very simply select the application, click add apps, and that generates an icon at the front of your screen. So I now have a shortcut to my OneDrive on here. Just as an example, going back into my settings, I could very simply go into my apps, scroll down, and I could very simply add my OneNote, and that very simply gives me a shortcut to my OneNote. Very quickly, going back into my settings, I could very simply, uh, very easily customize my appearance. I can add a logo, change the background, but my security measures, they could be as bespoke as I'd like them to be. So I could very simply tell the screen, if it does not sense any activity in X amount of minutes or hours, I could tell the screen to completely log anybody logged in from their personal calendars and their cloud drives accounts. I could also tell the screen, I could schedule cleanups. So I could very simply tell the skin uh, certain days of the week, 
at specific times, maybe because I'm well aware that contractors are going to be coming into my office, I could tell it to schedule cleanups and at that time on the selected days, it completely logs everybody out and completely just robs off and cleans off every single logins from itself. So at the front of the screen, you're also very much able to customize or select specific speaker and microphone outputs. Okay, we have many users who decide to expand their microphones uh, as well as uh, their speakers using external mics and speakers. And this very simply allows you to select what speaker is being used. But in instances where the external expanded speaker or microphone stops working, users could very simply select a completely different speaker, which in their case would be the speaker and the mic built into the clever touch screen. So we see resiliency and disaster recovery is at the forefront of the build because then they could select a secondary speaker and not have to ring the IT person to help them resolve that issue. That's a very quick overview of the Clever Touch Screen working with the Display Not Launcher skin. I'm James Demetri from Clever Touch Screen. Thank you.